Emma Olson, you're a student at Goddard Middle School. You're an eighth grader. Tell me about a color because you say that you did some research that said that color affects kind of your emotion. What's that all about? Yeah, so what I did is I researched how color is used in advertising to find like common color connotations that go with warm colors, cool colors, and grayscale. And then I put those all in a list and mixed them up and then um, took testers who were eighth grade girls and um, had them like label which right. um, emotions they thought went with each picture. And there were four for each one. And then I counted the number <laughs> that matched the um, predicted emotions right. for each one. And then I found that warm colors had typically the most predicted emotions. Nice. Selected. So if we want to make the kids mad, we need to uh, uh, paint the room red, right? So don't paint the room yes, red. Exactly. Get it a nice cool blue and it'll be fine, right? Yes. Right, mm -hmm. Perfect. And I just want to let everybody know that we're going to take all your research and put it online later on. So I, it, there's a lot. It's very, very good. Grace Borum, you are also an eighth grader and you said that birth order affects the way that a child behaves. Is that right? Yeah. My experiment was to find out if birth order affects personality and the way that I did this is at my church I gave the Myers-Briggs assessment to 10 youngest first 10 of all oldest. how do you even know about Myers-Briggs well when I was looking up an idea for my science experiment I came up with this well I didn't come up with it but yeah. I saw this idea <laughs> just claim it it's okay yeah it's, it's, so so tell me what what the big finding was the big finding was that I found out that middle children were the most extroverted and that oldest were the most judging. So, really? Yeah. I think we should have people on our Facebook page at 9news.com. I think that they should tell us whether or not that's true. So middle kids are most extroverted, extroverted yeah. and the older kids are the most More judging. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. there, this is the largest of all the eighth graders. No, no, no. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Mrs. Stiles, right? So Paula Stiles, would you yes. tell us the secret? You had a record turnout at Goddard Middle School. Tell me the secret of getting kids involved and going beyond just the vinegar and mm -hmm. baking soda? Well, we did have a huge number of kids involved this year, and the competition between them is really great, and we really try to play that up, that, you know, it's really big-time competition, and, you know, they get fame, fortune, extra pages in the yearbook, anything we can <laughs> uh, get them excited about. But they really do great. They really do. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and, but even more importantly than the competition, they know this is kind of a personal thing that they're, they're setting out to do a goal. Is that right? Very much. They pick their own experiment. We try to encourage them to pick things they're interested in. In, um, that they will really just carry through and follow through and do a nice. great job with. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to sneak over here. Diana Link, I'm so proud of you because <laughs> we have a demo here. Tell me what you did real fast because there's wires and magnets <laughs> and everything else. Um, what I did is I took an electromagnet okay. and um, I tested to see which core would be the best um, would make the pendulum swing the longest. I'll swing the pendulum and you put it on there. So there was a wire wrapped around the core there, then you sent electricity through, and then you held it here for like 30 minutes. Is that right? No. Well, how long did you hold it there um, for? For one minute. Oh, for one minute. Okay. Yeah. And what did you find out? Big finding was? Um, that iron does the best out of aluminum, zinc, and iron. Yeah, that's really, really cool.